Everything counts in large amount. Hi, it's Kara Diamond. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about our trip out west. We went to Calgary. Last summer, the first thing that we did was just kind of explore the area and we had to buy cowboy hats because we timed our visit, of course, to coincide with the Calgary Stampede, which is a very, very major event in Calgary, it happens every year in July and I wanted our children to experience that. So we bought cowboy hats at Lamley's. I tried to save a few bucks, maybe $20 or so, and I ended up with a cowboy hat. Looked more like a safari hat. You might see that in the pictures here, but uh, everybody else was looking very cowboyish. So we ended up actually going to the Stampede twice. With the first time we went, we were looking around, having some food, playing some games and things like that and we did not have tickets to the rodeo. The second time we did get them rodeo tickets. During the stampede, there are also all sorts of pancake breakfasts all over the downtown area, usually sponsored by a major company and uh, usually for free as well or for charity. We also wanted them to just get a feel for Calgary and just some of the areas, which was uh, 17th Avenue and 4th Street, which is uh, known for its shopping and wonderful restaurants. There's a lot of parks in Calgary. So one common one is Princess Island. They also have a couple of restaurants in that area called Eau Claire. My husband and I saw a couple of bands there. Another thing that my husband and I tried Olympic Oval, Olympic Oval, yes. And we rented the clop skates that speed skaters wore uh, several times. Rick, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're staring at me and I'm just like blah, blah, blah. Uh, Other places that you can visit in Calgary is um, Spruce Meadows. It's just a little bit outside Calgary. It's an equestrian center. If you like to see um, equestrian events, that's a common place to go to and, and really quite famous as well. You can also rent rafts or kayaks, things like that uh, on the Bow River. I think you can rent a raft for like $7 or you can go on a whole excursion for maybe $289, something like that. The other thing that we did was, of course, most people who go to Calgary also want to see Banff because it is such a short distance away. So of course we did do that. We just wanted to show them the mountains and just how big they are. When you're in Banff, you're seeing the mountain in all of its glory. Also, we wanted them to see Lake Louise. We were gonna go up higher and go to the tea house, but there was a bear sighting and we decided against that. When we went to Lake Louise, we walked around and we considered renting a canoe. They were about $100 each for about half an hour. So we were hemming and hawing about that, decided not to do it. Some people also choose to go up the gondola and to get a scenic view from up high. That is quite a costly venture, but if you are going out there as a one-time experience or if it's something that you've always wanted to do, then you can go ahead. Other things that you can do in that in the area is uh, play golf at Banff Springs. You can also visit the uh, Banff Hot Springs while you're there. When we were there many, many years ago, you could actually rent swimsuits. You could rent a regular one or you can rent like an old time one. We did not rent swimsuits at that time. My daughters and I, uh, did a unique experience. We went on the bobsled with a prof professional driver at Canada Olympic Park and we went at a very high speed. Very exciting to take the turns at such a high speed with the professional driver. So I would really recommend doing that. They also have some downhill karting at the same location. If you wanted to Google that, Google downhillkarting.ca, I believe it's called, and they'll give you the options of the things that you can do there. On our trip from Calgary to Banff, there were, and beyond, we actually drove to Kelowna, there were many natural bridges for the animals to cross the highway. I don't know. Some engineers thought this is. <laughs> Common area, didn't they randomly find it? Like, I mean, I guess once they find it, they can use it. But there's one natural bridge for this whole, whole area. 
my husband brought this up. We were uncertain about it. We kind of laughed. We weren't sure that there was these natural bridges for the animals to cross. How would they know where to cross? But we did see them. Oh my gosh, another natural bridge. Who's number one? Who's number one? <laughs> if, if, uh, have you guys seen the inside of a kangaroo sack? Next, I can give you some suggestions of what you might want to do there if you're going with your family and if you have children. Places that people liked to go was the Calgary Zoo and the another place would be the Calgary Science Centre. Thank you for tuning in to my video. I hope that you will travel to the west western part of Canada and to Calgary in the near future. Signing off, Kara Diamond, bye. Rick, Rick, it's about me, not the fireplace. Thank you.